and often I used to green used to use the green shelters where you had to sort of climb over it to get in well because of the benches yeah. you had to literally like no. climb over the table no. to <laughs> did you use them much no because I lived too near home where well, a lot of the drivers who, who lived out say in Romford and Chingford I mean, they couldn't go home for lunch or go home for a cup of tea, though they yeah, use these. Yeah. I remember used to um, <laughs> get a baby monitor so you could go and have a cup of tea and you'd still be able to hear when the when the, call when yeah. the dispatch... Yeah, I'm not sure I should have done that. <laughs> it was just another bit of radio, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Doesn't that count? He's doing other people out of work. Oh, well... Just, I'm sure others had found ways yeah, around it. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't stay in for long. It was just like toilet breaks and <laughs> statute of limitations on that. Mm. I'm sure. So you, you you passed your test. Yes. You got your green badge. Yes. You've done your first job. Well, how did the how did the fair react to? Getting it for free. I think you just ran away before James <laughs> in mind. I remember um, Jack, so your, your your mate Jack. He had um, he was in traffic, and the 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 fare was moaning about the fact that he was stuck in traffic, and yeah. he just turned around and said, "Get out!" And I mean, you can't do that, or can you? But he, no, you, you could. It's your your cab, your rules, I suppose, yeah. isn't it? Yes, it's. You, you see, the trouble is, you don't know why you're picking the person up. up. It could just be, or her, just being diagnosed with cancer and just wants to get out, or vice versa, just been cleared of cancer and yeah. in a happy mood. You, you just don't know why people are yeah. using you, and so you wait for them to, well, to talk yeah. to you. Did you ever have any weirdos? I can't remember. I remember one story um, where you're driving along and you, you, there's something on the back of your head and, you, and it was the, there was a, a bloke in the back who was just stroking the back of your head. Do you remember that? Story? Yeah, I was a good looking fella in that. <laughs> yeah. I was a pretty boy. <laughs> Did you get a tip? <laughs> no, I just, just want to get in and out and the way we go. Um, there's so much I want to ask you, and it's probably. <laughs> yeah, but, no, I should have. They all say once you get your badges, you get an exercise book and write all these things down, but you never do. I wish yeah. I had done, though. Yeah? After all these years. Well, if you remember any, that would be mm. good. And, um, and, and the, the radio circuit would have a an annual, I don't know what you'd call it, an AGM? Oh, or AGM. A Bino, That's or... it, AGM. Oh, no, just how you could approve it and you vote for want to be on the the board of management. Yeah. And you know you're going to get one fellow who's going to get up and say the staff are using too much toilet paper, you know, because you're giving a, uh, what they call it? Yeah, the accounts. Accounts, what's going on. Well, we had to attend these meetings. If you didn't, you got fined £50. Oh, right, so it was mandatory. Uh, the... Oh, always, we well, see some fellas just used to get up, and his wife doesn't let him speak at home, so he comes up and he rambles in on. Because <laughs> no, he went up, uh, up on the stand, there was a microphone, and you said whatever you wanted to say. Right, because everyone had because everyone had shares in it. You, you know, you're all part of. I've forgotten what it's called. Is it um, like a co-op? Yes. So. Yeah, because for tax reasons, for something it was done that. Oh, I can't remember the names. <laughs> and it did things right. So you, you um, got your badge in what sixty six? No, I got it first of July nineteen sixty eight. Oh, forgive me. First of July nineteen sixty eight. That's when you yeah. did your first job. First job from Cavan High Street to Elthorne Road. Road, and then um, did it. Did it change over the 70s? Or did it get easier or harder? We did because we had a three-day week in the 70s. And what 
What is that? Because um, that's when the miners went on strike. I don't know. Teddy said, "Well, you, do you need the coal to do? You know, do all the lights and the electricity." And then they found um, to keep it going. Well, it didn't have enough coal, so they made every work. Well, you have a three-day week. I think it was Monday to Wednesday. Oh, there's other work going on, but most of you know, the offices had to shut down. And that, um, so it, w it was really quiet yeah, for the rest of the week? Right. Very, very quiet. I think the other worst time was in the 90s when um, doing the, uh, the base rate was 15%. Not your mortgages, and if you wanted to buy a, a cab or something like that, it was these ridiculous high amounts of boring. So people never bought cabs, didn't do a lot of things. Yeah, that was hard. But they can, uh, it, it's so different then. Most of the fellas lived in ca in council homes, and, and their wives had good jobs. So, it weren't, well, especially me, my wife had a good job. I don't know what I would have done. Yeah. Would, or change your job. Yeah. But you could um, keep your own hours. Or oh, yeah, or work long hours. Yeah. That that seemed to appeal to you about the job that you could just get in the cab whenever. Yeah, but you still got to do your hours. You still got to take your money. And that's a bit of a bit of a myth. When you say you, it seems as if. You work when you like, and you can have some time up. Well, you go and see the kids, take the kids from school, but then you still have to go for, from six, say, work, work in the evening to take your money up. Yeah. It's very hard to understand that. Yeah, because you don't know how much work you're going to do when you go out. That's, that's right. Or if someone would say, look, can you pick me up at 11 o'clock in the morning and take me to wherever? But you had to stop an hour before because you never know where, you, where you're going to end up. I mean, if it's 10 o'clock, you're pulling King's Rangs, this person says Richmond, it's like Sod's Law, you're not going to get back in time to pick, pick the person up. Right. So you had to turn work down to, yeah, to get the good job. Hour. Well, yeah. not a good job, but it, a lot of it was just going round to the local stations, and you had to stop an hour off, good hour off b before. Yeah. Which I found, you know, it's very difficult to explain to people. Yeah, yeah, because you've got a guaranteed job, but that means yeah. you've got to make sure that you're free yeah. Yeah. for the guaranteed job, so you're not ahead. <laughs> yeah. Airport jobs were they were they always good? Yes, but everybody wanted them. Everybody was off. And then when you go to the airport, it was really regimented, wasn't it? That when you got to Heathrow, oh. you, you then had to go into a very strict queue yeah. for the and rank then, there. Usually average two hours, and I couldn't, couldn't be bothered to wait two hours. I used to come straight back. Yeah. I can't think of stories to tell. Yeah, no, that's all right. No, it's just, it's just it, do you know, it's just the, just the basics of it of how how it works yeah. isn't um i wouldn't be able to tell anyone how you know how that worked even just on a on a basic how do you get a taxi level or you know quite how you know regimented it was to you know your license from the carriage office you know they're really strict weren't yeah they're very very strict you didn't mind because you you knew the rules. If you had to appear in court for a witness, you had to wear a badge. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the law. You've got to. Oh yeah. Yeah, because it was looked after by the um, Metropolitan Police. Yeah. Huh? I wish it was. Well, I wish it was put back by the policeman. Because now it's transport for London. Isn't yeah, it? No, the civil servants run it. Right. It was difficult when you were off off the road, wasn't it? If you had any um, 
like a, a accident. Sort of, yeah, or damage to the cab. Yeah, that that would be quite hard, wouldn't it? Thanks for watching. The chat continues on the link on screen here or in the description. And thanks again for showing your love with a thumbs up or subscribe by clicking on my face or the button below. Now here's the next part of the chat with my dad.